hi guys and welcome with another video google have finally announced the pixel 6 lineup now this is google's first device that are coming with their own in-house soc known as the google tensor so for more details straight into the video now google have announced the pixel 6 yeah google have actually gone the apple way the iphone way I mean they have their own soc they have their own software and now they have their own phone all of them tied up together by one company so there should be a lot of optimization here now uh, lots of people have spoken about the phone there have been so many blogs but they have not really seen a lot about the tensor soc so that's why i'm here to talk about it now uh, google have actually been coy on the specs of the google tensor but don't worry about it i got you covered what Google have further elaborated on are the AI and machine learning capabilities of the Tensor SoC as well as its new Titan security chip. So let's dive into the details straight away. Now for the CPU and GPU cores, the Tensor has an octa-core 2 plus 2 plus 4 dynamic setup. The prime cores are two Cortex X1 cores running at speeds of 2.8 GHz. The B cores are two Cortex A76 cores running at 2.25 GHz and the remaining four cores for small tasks are the Cortex A55 cores running at a mega 1.8 gigahertz this is the first time i'm seeing two cortex x1 cpu cores on the smartphone soc so i can tell you that there is some very serious computing power here google also said that this new soc is 80 percent faster than the one on the pixel 5 is that a shade at snapdragon <laughs> i don't know the gpu is an arm mali g78 mp20 gpu now having a gpu with 20 cores is no joke at all and the google tensor has a samsung lpddr5 ram on board for multitasking and supports ufs 3.1 memory for multimedia yes smartphones are now full-blown multimedia machines people actually make full movies on their smartphones and edit them without you know, having to use a pc so the google tensor is not found wanting in any sense the isp on board is the pixel neural core which has been upgraded for photography it is going to be paired with google's computational photography for stunning photos now for videos the google tensor supports up to 4k hdr resolution videos at 60 frames per second now for displays it has support for up to qhd plus displays i don't know if it could support more but the google pixel 6 pro has a qhd plus display hence the observation for connectivity the tensor supports 5g networks i think it has a qualcomm's modem on board it also supports 4g bluetooth 5.2 and wi-fi 6 all of these are at the bleeding edge of tech respectively now somewhere where google has always been at the forefront is in artificial intelligence and machine learning and google has touted massive ai and ml updates for this soc now features such as live translates for audio video and text messages as well as improved text to speech for voice typing are also some of the new features you would see that this new soc supports then there's also better voice recognition and a more powerful google assistant i, I was going through some of the comments on their uh, presentation on youtube and somebody was like oh wow now you can do deep fakes on your phone <laughs> maybe i'll talk about deep fakes later but these are some of like the new stuff that this new tensor soc has brought to the fore now for security they have spared no expense here as well there's a new titan m2 security chip on and if that's not enough there's also a titan security core as well as a trust zone os all of which are dedicated towards some serious serious you know high-tech security for this soc as well as whatever phone it's going to be on now this soc is built on a five nanometer process now whilst this is cutting edge in itself the industry is already moving on to three nanometer and one nanometer processes so google are a bit late to the party but this five nanometer setup however should ensure that there is not going to be a lot of battery consumption from this soc and to augment this google have also included an ultra low power engine so to wrap up uh a two plus two plus four cpu core plus a mali g78 gpu these are all very impressive like some real serious power on this soc not to even talk about the uh i mean google have always been you know champions of uh digital computational photography so <laughs> obviously you can't knock them here what i'm interested to see is how it's going to perform against other giants of the industry such as the qualcomm snapdragon triple eight the samsung exynos 2100 as well as whatever successors that uh, qualcomm and samsung are going to be putting out my takeaway is that this soc promises a lot of good things 
So let's keep our fingers crossed and see how it goes. I've written a post about uh, Google Pixel uh, 6 lineup as well as uh, this same SOC if you want a full transcript of this um, video. So you can check them out with the links in the description. My name is Jeffrey once more. I hope you liked this video. If you did, thumbs up will go along with supporting the channel. See you in the next one and bye bye.